Hey everyone! So today we are going to do our maths and it's maths with me all week this week whilst Miss Dolby is in school and last week you were absolutely amazing at learning all about 3D shape and you all amazed me with your models that you made using 3D shapes and your shape hunts around the house and gosh what an amazing week you had. Now this week we're going to go back to our number focus and we are going to be learning about something called number bonds. Now a number bond is where you find different ways to make a certain number. So we're going to be focusing on number bonds to five. So we're going to be exploring all the different ways that you can find uh, ways to make number five. Now we always begin by doing this in a practical way so that children get an experience to do this using practical and real objects so that they actually feel um, the resources that they're using. This is a really important um, part of this phase. Now, before we do that, let's warm up our brains like we always do. And we're going to begin by ordering our numbers. So here we go. Now, this week, we're having a theme a little bit on buses because our new story this week is called The Naughty Bus. And we can't wait for you to join us on Teams today to read our new story. Now, we have got lots of buses here with numbers on. And at the moment, they're all mixed up. And they need help to be parked so that they're ready to go out for their journey so that they can go and pick people up. But we need to put them in the right order. Now, we need to start with the smallest number, which is number... It's number one. Can you see number one? Now, what I want you to do today is to see if you can beat me before I select it, okay? So I want you to be pointing to the screen. Number one, let's go. Let's put number one in place. Which number comes next? It's number two, well done. One more than two makes three, doesn't it? One more than two is three, super duper. What's one more than three? It's four, very good. Okay, which number is next? Can you see it, can you spot it? It's number five, well done. Let's check where we are so far. We've got numbers one, two, three, four, five it's number six next isn't it how did you know it was number six next can you use the word more one more than five makes six doesn't it super okay one more than six is seven is this number seven no that's not number seven this is number seven isn't it one more than seven is eight very good Let's check what we've got so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done. Nine. And one more than nine makes ten. And if you're not sure what's next, let's go back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, well done. Which one is number 11? Miss Dolby taught you this last week, didn't she? This is 11 here. Well done. And the last number must be 12 because one more than 11 makes 12. Very good. Now we're going to start our work on number bonds. So I've got a little pond here and in a moment we're going to put some frogs into our pond. Let's begin by finding out how many frogs we have. So we have got one, two, three, four, and five. How many frogs do we have? We've got five frogs in total. That's right. So I'm going to put the number five there. Now we're going to put some frogs into the pond, okay? So I'm going to just put them all back at the very start, like that. And I'm going to begin by putting three, no, four frogs into the pond. One, two, three, and four. How many frogs are in the pond? There are four frogs in the pond. Now I'm going to use the red counters to show the frogs that are in the pond, okay? So we've got one, two, three, three, 
and four. Because we have four frogs in the pond, I'm using the red counters to show the ones that are in the pond, okay? Now I've got one frog on the grass. So I'm going to use a yellow counter to represent the, the frog who is on the grass. Now, I've got four in the pond and one on the grass, but how many frogs do I have still all together? I still have five frogs, don't I? Because if I count them all up, let's see how many I would have. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's double check on our five frame. One, two, three, four, five. So we know that four and one makes five because I've got four red counters, one yellow counter, and it makes five. Four frogs in the pond, one frog on the grass, it still makes five. Let's try it a different way. Okay, so I've still got my five frogs in total, but this time, instead of putting four in the pond, I'm going to put three frogs in the pond. Okay, I have three frogs in the pond. Let's double check by counting them. One, two, three. I have three frogs in the pond, and there are going to be two frogs on the grass. So I'm going to use my counters to show this in my five frame. How many counters, how many red counters will I need to show the frogs in the pond? That's right, I need three. One, two, three. Three frogs in the pond, and how many frogs are on the grass? Two, that's right. One, oops, two. So we know that three, because there are three in the pond, three red counters showing this. One, two, three. Three and two, because there are two on the grass and two yellow counters to show this. We know that three and two makes five, because there are still five all together. We've just shown it in a different way. So this time we had three in the pond, two on the grass. Ah. Now your task today is to find out how many different ways you can make five. Now what I would like you all to do today is to print off a five frame like this, or you can just draw one, okay, with a pen and paper on a, on a piece of paper. And what you're going to do is get five things from around your house. So you could get five teddies, or you could get five pieces of pasta, or you could get five counters if you've got some. And I want you to see how many different ways you can make five, okay? And you can also use this little mat to help you with a pond and a grass to separate them and see how many ways you can do it. Now, I think there are only two ways to do it because I've only found out two ways that you can do it, but am I right or am I wrong? See what you can find out by having a go at home with things from around your house, okay? And you can use your counters or your teddies as the characters that are in the pond or on the grass. Can't wait to see if I'm right or if I'm wrong. So have a go at this today, everybody, and have a lovely day. Bye.